You just can't get enough, can you? Okay, I'll show you more. This is part three of my world tour. In this video, we're gonna be covering all of my laboratory and the cities and towns I've made all in this direction, which is mostly all the newest stuff. If you didn't catch the other parts, part one, we toured all of my house, and part two, we toured all of the random builds out throughout my world, like that castle, my custom biomes, my space station. Those will all be linked down below, including the world download. So to get things started, we're going to start off with the laboratory. And yes, I'm going to do this one in RTX 2, mainly because the lab has a lighting error in base Minecraft right now. And RTX fixes that, just makes it look better. Plus, it's just aesthetically pleasing. Hi, Bob. Okay. Bye, Bob. But this is my laboratory. One of my biggest builds in this world. It is so expansive. We've worked on this for many, many years. Just keep adding on to it. Uh, but as you can see over here, we got like some sort of fencing around the lab. Have fun down there. And probably doesn't look as good in RTX. Yeah, it looks awful. But in normal Minecraft, you can see that this glows a neon green to make it look like some sort of radioactive material I'm just pouring out right there. So this lab is mainly built underground, but over time, I've tried to make it look prettier on the outside, such as like that antenna tower there, we got smokestacks, and this is the main door. This is my logo for all of, this stands for Slime Science Center. Uh, this is where we do all of our lab tests and everything. This is a massive 4x4 door. Now this is the main door right here. These pistons move as well as these glass ones, but I also added in a system where it makes it move these pistons, and I believe these ones, right? Yeah, <laughs> like these actually do nothing for you, but other than effect, because I found out I could add them in. I just like more moving parts, but yeah, you enter, there's a blinking light as long as it's open for caution, and then it all shuts. I love that door. This is the main lobby here. Yes, I still have trapdoor problems. These are supposed to be in the upward position. They're like little benches. Uh, this is my portal to get to the lab through my nether hub system. This is Mr. Bildenov. He is our receptionist looking out here, but he presses this button here to enter the lab. And this leads into a little decontamination room. You press this button to get washed with some water. How futuristic. <laughs> and then you press this button to get out. This leads to one of the first rooms I made in this lab, which has no purpose other than to display something in the middle here. I have some guards walking around as you can see, uh, but this, uh, it's been through a few different designs, but I finally landed on like a globe and I dedicated this to 300,000 subscribers reached on that date And I really love this. It really looks I know I mentioned RTX a lot But I just drool over it all the time. I'll never get over it. This looks good in here I have a hole right there so I can enter in or leave with my elytra wings um, but let's head over this way first this leads straight to the factory we toured that second part. Yeah, um, so this is just like a connecting tunnel. Walk over this way, we have this giant turning hallway, which I love so much. I just fell in love with it when I designed it. Um, but as you can see, we have some containers holding what I like to call enlarged atoms. <laughs> um, this is my office for this place. Bookshelves are a little messed up. This is Mr. Dr. Professor Dallas's office. I used to come in here quite a bit when I was working on the lab. I'm not really in here as much anymore because I think soon I'm gonna be retiring this lab and just dedicating all of my science stuff in the main city because I just don't really want to expand this place anymore. We got a little terrarium for a frog here. This place is just too big now. I don't wanna add on to it. What's this? Some stuff I've written down over the years. If we follow this curve, this leads down to the main hallway, but we also have a hallway over here. I have robots patrolling the hallways. They don't seem to move for some reason. They're always in the same spot. This is my maintenance closet. This is like the first maintenance closet I had where I just store stuff. Walking down this way, this is an, I, I still need to put the ceiling on. What's that button doing there? This leads to my new skeleton farm. I use this quite a bit, mainly for the bone blocks and repairing tools. But uh, yeah, this is where a skeleton spawner lies and I made a system which is pretty cool. I like the idea of having a lot of controls over this. So we have skeleton block drop. This can add it to where they stop falling in. We also have a light switch here, which just turns the lights. I have, oh, you just saw them turn off there. Just enables them to spawn. We have a stray transformation that pulls out a snow block, but in bedrock edition, suffocating mobs, when the piston is detracted, it makes them shoot all over the place. It's just 
buggy. It's there for when they fix that. We got a water block that gets rid of the water in the main chamber in case I want to get in there. And then the magma block, which kills them or weakens them. This room right here was originally going to be a creeper study room, but I didn't end up doing that. I changed it quite a bit to just this empty room. So eventually I can do something in here if I want. I actually have an air duct system all throughout my lab, just in case, you never know, you might need it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can see it right there. In some parts, there's like a entrance in the ceiling through these hallways. Right here is some offices. This just leads into just an office section. I actually have three villagers in here that are all of some of my donor villagers, such as Professor Melvin, Dr. Kaja, a guard, and Dr. Wine. Going further down this hallway, I need to add an end here. I thought I was going to expand eventually, but I never did. We just got a big circle room. I really just need a... F yeah, we're not done with the lab. I want to finish stuff like this to call it finished. But all right, on to the main parts of the laboratory. This is my main hallway here where a lot of different laboratories are, such as right here. Entity Research. Don't don't walk out. What's your name again? Dr. Fugel. <laughs> he is studying the dragon egg right here. So I think this is pretty cool. And you will see as well, I have lots of custom map art throughout my world. These are not paintings or custom textures. These are literally maps, many of you may know. And I have giant areas such as this one is made in the end because of the black void. I just used grass blocks to create this digital computer effect and I used cobblestone to create the border. I just think these are so cool. We got like a pickaxe right there and some like scribbles just to look technical. I have buttons here so he doesn't get out. I used to have pressure plates. Right here we have diamond processing. I used to have villagers in here, but I think they disappeared. So I haven't put any back yet, but yeah, this is meant to look like where we send some diamonds to just study them, I guess. And yeah, we've got a classroom over here. Heading down even further, we got a hallway there. We'll go there later. Right here we have emerald research. Emerald research, oh. God, I just need to add a ceiling to this and I'd call it finished. I haven't been down here since I've made it. So we are in a mountain biome, so I made it look like, well, I could mine for emeralds down here. As you can see, this is where they naturally spawned, but I just didn't mine them up. But yeah, a place to mine for emeralds if I wanted. What else do we got? Here is, what do I call this? The power core. This is what I make look like power the lab. I use lava. As you can see, I got like a lava tube right here. Um, oh, it stopped. I have a minecart system. That always stops. I hate that. But yeah, it's meant to look like it travels across this rail. But if we enter through here, this is an area that looks like I'm pumping magma from the center of the earth, or not the center, but like the mantle of the earth and sending it throughout the lab, making it maybe steam powered or something. But we head all the way down this winding path. I never come down here because I made it such a hassle to get down here. But uh, yeah, it's like a control room. It's a little outdated. I have some newer things like all that map art to make this place look better. But like I said, I'm not looking to improve the lab. I want to leave it how it is. As you can probably clearly tell, this place is heavily inspired by Yogg Labs. Uh, I grew up watching that and I just really wanted to make one for myself. Wow, it is dark in here. What the? I forgot I added a roof to this place. <laughs> but as you can see, this is a generator room. I got a giant generator in here to make it look like I don't know, just another power source for the lab, I guess. Heading down further, we got potion research. We got one of Bob's llamas in here to test on, but quite simply, I just come over here, um, as you can see, our history here of testing on different subjects. I have a dispenser up there. This button controls that. also have a way to add more subjects in here if I wanted. But yeah, just a way for me to learn about Minecraft more and test around with potions. Coming out this way, we have a bee study room from when we had bees added to the game. Uh, I used to have, did I ever fix this? No. I had a point in my world where every single book and quill got reverted to nothing, and that was awful. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, bees are just living in their natural habitat here. You can also simulate a sun. <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of cool. Across from this, we just got this little corner office to make it look like you can tinker on some things. Walking over this way, we have a village simulation. This is where I used to come to get all of my villagers in the world uh, 
But I don't use this anymore. I just recently stopped using this because I took out my last villagers. They're now in the city now where I, well, breed them there and move them all throughout that area. So yeah, but right next to it, I have a simulation overseer's office. It's kind of like Fallout 4 inspired. So you just look over and write down notes. I have been keeping track of this for quite some time. You download the world and read this if you want. Heading out through here, we have Copper Research. I have one of my donor villagers in here, Dr. KT Pepitone. Just looking out over stuff. Just a copper room. That's all it is. <laughs> got a hole there. A portal spawned here once. I finally got rid of the obsidian, so that's why that's there. As you can see, I have torches all under the lab, but with RTX on, they don't, they don't shine light through the floor. And in normal Minecraft, there's a bug right now where it makes the floor look awful, so... Right here we have Scoot Production Lab. That's where this minecart sound is coming from. But I have gained so much Scoot from this place. It's pretty handy. So I plant eggs in here. And as you know, they'll hatch. And eventually when they grow up, they drop Scoot. That's what this minecart is doing. It'll go through and collect Scoot for me. Across from here we have Medical Surgery. Now this is mainly just for looks. I don't think I really expanded much to here. I used to have a villager here, but he's no longer there. I have a little surgery room. This is where I come to... Used to get... Well, that was weird. Used to get operated on. Oh, gosh. Trippy. But we just built a hospital in the city, so we don't need that anymore. Heading down this way, we got a little plant lab. Not much else. Uh, just a simple little plant lab. Over here, we have an end research lab. We got the dragon head, a shulker box here, some maps of the end, end items. Let's head down this way. We got every potted plant in the game in here. So I just wanted to do that. I think that, oh, there's more now. So it's a little outdated. Got a lush environment in here to mess around with if we wanted. Over here, we got, I think, every double tall. Actually, no, we don't. We're missing sunflowers, but most double tall plants in here. Walking down this way, we just got another little plant section with some skylight. Looks pretty nice. What do we got over here? We have a long room. What is in here exactly? Plants. I really like my plant study, I guess. Some nether plants. I don't know. I just really wanted this lab to look super busy. We got a classroom right here. Uh, ignore this. It's supposed to look like a big... These are messed up because I didn't lock these maps. Uh, they're supposed to look more like these. Just without the borders on them. I gotta fix that. Over this way, we got a little empty room here I could do something with if I wanted. This leads to those offices I showed. And then one of my favorite areas in this world is through this door. You head down this way, and this leads to my interpretation of the back rooms. This place is pretty expansive. There's this weird, like, as you can tell, fog effect with RTX on down here. But yeah, this is my representation of the back rooms. It's supposed to look like the lower offices within the lab, like we used to be down here studying stuff but we've moved out since then and you can get lost down here if you don't know this place stupid enderman i hate enderman i'm getting lost already bat help me where are we going let's go over this way that that's a dead end so i guess i gotta head this way yeah oh we got some more cubicles <laughs> with some blue screen of death map art i like that one what what's this oh yeah we got a slime science center login screen and then over this way, uh, just got some more crazy structures. And then down here, we got a big staircase. This leads down to an even lower section. I wanted to make this look more, I guess you can say damaged because it's even lower and we haven't been down here in a while. Oh, I got shulker boxes down here still. Ooh, with lots of supplies. Um, down there is not really anything. It's a place where I was planning to build this, which is actually a nuclear area where we're studying some nuclear related things, like a bomb. I love this room. I kind of forgot I made this, to be honest. But uh, yeah, here's our bomb. It's connected to some wires. A scientist would be down here studying it. Here's some more map art stuff, which looks pretty cool. Just make it look like we're uploading stuff to this bomb. Oh, look at that one. That's a little glitched, but it looks cool. It looks like the Matrix. Back down here by the village simulation in the main hall, we head over here, and I have this room right here, which is a little cremation room. Whoa. So, yeah, we got like a coal pile here. So this is meant for when my scientist died. 
here we would <laughs> cremate them and I was gonna put them on the walls we've had a few scientists die but they're not my village donators they were just random scientists I named we got a storage warehouse and shipments this is just a giant hangar where I store shipments like animals and storage then we got another turn in the hallway this is a little section where you can run through and place pumpkins on top of these for an emergency golem spawn because I used to have raids that would spawn in here because I have a village simulation and just put that up for emergency got another maintenance closet here for storage right here this place is still broken the blast chamber um, but this is a place where you could have dropped TNT on items and I marked it in these books explaining different experiments but one time I dropped too much TNT and it flew everywhere and blew up the chamber Walking down this way, wow, I'm forgetting how big the lab is. We got a place to go down that way, we also have a place down here. This is like an amethyst geode recreation. Don't really use it, it's just for looks. Got little displays here. This is like a protected area of my lab because down here is my new vault. But right here is my server room, which, oh, I love so much. I don't think this causes performance issues because I get perfectly fine performance. It may be causing a lot of updates, but it's so worth it for the effect. But yeah, this is where I make it look like I work on my robots that tour the, <laughs> or not tour, just patrol the hallways. Got another big screen here of some different map art I made in the end, which I think looks really cool. Walking out this way, turn here, and this leads to my vault that I still use, and we might be putting this to an end soon. It's a little open right now, but as you can see, it uses beacons, which <laughs> why I might build a new vault in the city, make an actual big bank so I can get these beacons back. But this works. As you can see, you can't pass through. But if you flip this, it makes it where you can walk through. And it is very yellow in here due to these lights. But yeah, as you can see, this is where I store most of my wealth. That's messed up. Kind of looks cool, though. Uh, I got some diamonds. Oh my gosh, look at my iron supply. This used to be flowing out to here, but... What? Power's flickering in the lab. I haven't been here in a while, so yeah, that tends to happen. <laughs> Still got lots of gold. Over here is more precious stuff, such as my netherite supply, some other things, enchanted golden apples, elytra winged, pretty cool. Heading back down this way, got some more emergency golem spawns. I used to have pumpkins in the center of those. But uh, yeah, right here we got an empty room. This is more of a new section because this is the armor trim laboratory. Might be too dark in RTX. I don't know if you can see this. Here's another map art area. They're kind of hard to see. Glow item frames don't work in RTX. And I find that really irritating. I cannot see in here. We got Dr. Mason Parker. Can I have that bed real quick? Thank you. But yeah, he is working in here because this is where I store or just display all of the armor trims that I've found in this world. I found every single one of them, which is pretty cool. Even silence, I have found the silence armor trim. Here we are messing around with some trims. Can't really see it, but there's armor in these cases as well. But uh, yeah, head back out through here. We got just some like storage sections. I guess we can head through this way. This leads over to another expansion of the lab. Getting a little lost here. We have cryogenic research. I used to store villagers in here, but uh, yeah. Just make it look like <laughs> cryo storage for villagers. We're back out in the main hall here. This was that end research, but this leads down to what I called lab development. So we got a redstone research, just, just some redstone supplies. That's all that's in here, nothing too fancy. We've got an unoccupied room with some foxes and skeleton horses for some reason. Here's some health research, just to make it look like we're brewing some health potions. That leads to the surgery section. And we've got a little freezer here. There's nothing in here. I took some stuff out because I was messing around with it. But uh, yeah, this leads down to an industrial furnace. I use this quite a bit in case I need to mass smelt some blocks. Walking down here, there's that cryo room. We've got an outdoor section. Uh, that's where we came from, the armor trim area. We've got an unoccupied room here. Could be used for anything. This leads down, this is just a little portal room for cross-dimensional travel. We got a three, or what do I call this? Like a 270 degree aquarium. This looks pretty cool. This leads to a water treatment area. So we have there's a little fish tank there, no fish in it, but this is meant to look like a water filtration area. Head over this way. Oh my gosh, this lab's gotten so much bigger. We have pottery shirt research. 
Okay, can you move away from the door? I can't ever really go in here anymore because he is locked by this door for some reason. He just won't leave and I feel like he's trying to get out. But as you can tell, we store all of our different pottery shirts. I've collected all of them in the game. I No, have I? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, we do. We have all of them, but they are stored in here. He doesn't want to move, so not going in there. Another unoccupied lab section there. Right here we have a giant room, which I think looks pretty cool. It has no purpose. Other, I think I called it Mob Cranium Research, so yeah. Walking down this way, we have a small nether display room. These are supposed to look like mini portals, but RTX messes up banners, which is really annoying. But yeah, it's supposed to look like the warp, no, warped forest, crimson forest, and the basalt delta. Walking out here, you can flip this little lever. This leads to a little lore thing I added to this world. Uh, you can find the journal somewhere. It's called some sort of research journal by a guy named Nelson. Um, but this is supposed to look like a cutoff section of my laboratory that we intended to hide because we were working or studying mutagen effects on real villagers. Like in here, for example, it's a little dark. I'm sorry. It's not supposed to be this dark. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to look abandoned. In here, for example, this is where... Oh yeah, look at that, that looks cool. <laughs> where they were stored cryogenically, or what was this? Comatose and preservation. Got some barred off areas. This place was pretty fun to make. Back out into the main area here. I do kind of miss it, but I used to have these giant vault doors here, as many of you may know, that was a blocked off section of the lab and made it look like there was some sort of disease that spread it through here and we were just blocked off. But I recently got rid of it just to make it look like we cleaned it up, finally. We got a forklift here, but I don't know what to do down here, so I just got random lab areas with some like lathe machines. What do we have in this one? Some sort of laser cutter. Down here, we got a section I have not done anything with. Over here, I still made this look abandoned, but this, is this still, oh no, I took out the flickering lights for some reason. Why am I doing all that, Dallas? <laughs> but this is like a giant like launch room I think I was trying to imitate. Here's an old map. This place has no purpose other than for looks. That seems like to be most part of the <laughs> lab anyway, but this leads down to a relatively new addition. Another bomb I'm working on. <laughs> I don't know what my obsession is with bombs, but hey, we gotta have nuclear deterrence for any invading species because we are allowing alien life into my new city I'm making, which we will get to eventually, hopefully. <laughs> hey, I guess we're heading there now. This leads up to uh, one of the first buildings I made in the new city project, and this is a giant security. Well, this was originally going to be like the launch room for my space agency, but it's gonna be more for security purposes now. As you can see, it got a bunch of random maps. This one's pretty cool. It's a little glitched out right there. That one's not supposed to be like that, but these are a bunch of end islands to make look like stars surrounding my space station. Just a little bit of map editing made it look kind of like that. We got my biggest map I've ever made right here in my world, and this is a four to four scale, and this is like all, this is just my whole continent. So you can see my house is right here. That's that big mesa biome. We got emerald mountains out here. Just a really cool representation. Here's emerald mountains right there for scale. But yeah, this place is relatively mostly empty because, well, just haven't really done anything with it yet. If we head back to that hangar that we toured, here's a big radar dish. I think that's pretty cool. Here's my first town I attempted to make. Our factory's over there. Um, I really like this town because it's very old school, as you can tell. Um, so I have apartment buildings here. This was, <laughs> this was the first building I made of any town in this world. I really like it. It's like kind of casual looking, very basic, but I do have some people living, <laughs> still staring out the window. That's Mr. Forehand, he's a donator. We also have, I believe, Farzy. Yeah, Mr. Farzan Far, he's a YouTuber. If he goes by Farzy. Come up here, do I have anyone else? Oh, I thought I did. We have lots of rooms open to anyone. That one's empty too. I guess I only have two in here. Okay. But if we head down the road here, we have like a garage. It's empty, but we could use it for storage in the future. Um, a lot of these buildings are very far from done, such as this one. All these, that just has a face on it. But I do want to come back here and finish it. It's a very old timey style. So if we get tired of the futuristic style in the new city, here's a donor back here, Jasper. He gives me the good stuff. But yeah. As you can see, um, we've got a few different building designs, which I think look pretty cool. 
Can't wait to finish those. We got a centerpiece in the middle here. I use this building as, it's like the city building building, you know? Oh, that looks cool. I like the way that's glowing off of there. Big furnace. But yeah, this is where I come to store stuff that I'm working on the city with. On this side, I built a really cool stone house mixed with quartz. And I always forget about this. I want to just... Oh, I want to do everything in this world. It just takes time and resources. I just want to add the interior in here and throw a villager in here and make him live there. That's the plan, eventually. And then we got another building here. Not finished at all. But yeah, we're going to add more to that soon. Back here, we have a lonely little hunting cabin. This used to be mine, but I gave it to a villager. Where are you at? It's dark. Oh, there you are. Just so dark. Simple Rick. But yeah, he is a nitwit villager. Um, he even sleeps during the day because he has no job. <laughs> okay, finally, we can move on to the city, which is all I've been working on for the past couple months. Uh, we've put so much work and resources into this place. This leads down into the shipment yard. We're not going to start here. But as you can see, I've been working to connect this path. I want to eventually connect this town to the city. But let's go to the front. As you can see, I got some old pipes with water in them. Just this is just all part of the old lab. But in front of the city, this is going to be like the frontier because I'm still messing with it. The road starts here. This is my nuclear power plant. It's not active because as you can tell by the top right there, it went through an accident. I used to have a villager in here, but I left the lights off in his office and <laughs> Bob spawned and killed him. So I got to relocate him. But as you can see, this place looks really cool. I put yellow glass to kind of make it look like it's emitting or just radiation in here. But uh, yeah, I've kind of mimicked different power things. Like these are the rods, for example. Of course, the rods don't come up. This isn't meant to look super realistic. This is Minecraft. We make our own things. But this is my interpretation of a nuclear power plant that went under some problems. As you can see here, we got some more map art. But walk over this way. That leads to like a little waiting room. Got another room with some map art on it. This leads up to the second floor with like an overseer's window to look down there. I see more map art right there. Got some desks. This place is meant to look abandoned, but I did want to have, like I said, one villager left in here to make it look like he's just like, I don't know, secretly working on the place. I got these diagonal windows, which look, I, they look great from the outside. And I thought they were gonna look like crap from the inside, but they actually look all right, if you ask me. Um, yeah, well, you can see down into the shipment yard there. Uh, and this leads to the main office, which is here. As you can see, my mistake was is I added a light switch, and I forgot to turn it on when I left, and the villager who lived here, was it Ryan Browning? Passed away, but I'm not going to count that. I'm going to move him somewhere else. But yeah, we got some more small details around here. I might miss some stuff, but that just happens. Because this city is getting pretty big, but I love this place to death. Like, I, every time I think of my city, I get so excited to play Minecraft. And I think that's how everyone should feel when they play Minecraft. So that's why I continue to work on this place. Here is the second building we made, or third, I guess, because that's first, second, and then third. That's why they're numbered. But this is the Creeper Enterprise building. If you could tell, there's a Creeper face right there. This is my first, I guess, skyscraper. And it actually has a whole Creeper spawner on the inside, which was, I didn't really think it was possible in Minecraft, but I go through rockets like crazy, so I'm so happy that I finally have a gunpowder source. Got a main lobby right here. As you can see, this is where they fall and die. I have lots of gunpowder. I've been through a lot of it already, so this is already giving me like two to three double chests. Um, but, oh, I love the aesthetic in here. I don't come in here a whole lot. We have an elevator system. This takes us up to the study, which is where I guess they just study creepers. I have a few creeper related things in here, such as a creeper head in a jar. We have the creeper sandstone, glazed terracotta. This used to have the face on it, but, or the creeper on it, but my shirt's all bugged out, if you remember. And if we head up this way to the third floor, oh, I like this. <laughs> this is my robotic creeper they are making. So maybe it's like a, a weapon. It walks through battle and it's like very bulletproof and it can walk up to a structure and blow it up like a huge bomb. <laughs> Am I foreshadowing anything? I hope not. But uh, yeah, this leads up to an office that is not done. I'm still going to put a villager up here, but this is going to be the person who runs this place. On top of the skyscraper here, behind that first building, I have a little rocket down there. This was going to be the launch site for my space agency, but 
I'm not gonna have it there anymore. But if we head down here, go back to the street, have like a fenced off area with a big propeller, maybe a cooling system for that. Where should we go first? This was the fourth building I made. This, <laughs> it is just a huge building that I plant. This is where I'm gonna breed villagers. But as of right now, only the outside is done. Got some signs on it. This sign actually says motel on it. Should say hotel actually, but uh, got like some Asian writing there. But if we head in here, I have some basic villager breeding areas so I can breed villagers here and relocate them throughout this city. But eventually this will have a multi-leveled system where I could actually make it look better. Across the street from it, we have my... Oh, uh, well, it says Kelpco. When RTX isn't on, it looks really cool. But uh, banners are messing up throughout the city, even in Minecraft without RTX, so it doesn't really matter. But this is my kelp farm. Now, th my goal for this city is to make most buildings useful, like have farms on the inside of them. So this is my kelp farm. If you walk in here, these are the farms themselves. They're very small, but I don't need a ton of kelp because you should see how much this has already produced me, which is quite a bit. We've got that chest, that chest, and that. And I've taken some out too. If we go up to the top floor, we have like a receptionist area there. I don't want to put anyone in there though. This leads up to the person who runs this place. Now, this is David Sabrowski. I put most of my, well, this city plans to have most of my donation villagers running the city which I think is a fantastic idea. But if we head out here, we have another building here. This one's empty. This place is very heavily under work right now. So this is gonna be like a poor housing apartments area. Um, yeah, this one right here is actually furnished, but we're not furnished, but the levels and floors are done. So we could turn this into some sort of office workspace. I really like the way this one turned out. And then next to it, we have like a small industrial building. I ended up turning this into my bean co. This is where, uh, well, again, as you can see, RTX. It's hard to see some stuff, but this is my bean farm. Gives us a lot of cocoa beans if we head up top here. Ooh, got a little room in here. Storage, but this leads up to his office. And this is Simon Phillips. Oh, he's got a nice view out here. He runs the bean co. He's even got a little balcony here. Let's head out. To here, uh, I forgot about this building. I'm gonna make this a clothing store, I think. As you can see, I got like some sort of sign there, but it is empty. I'm probably gonna put like armor in here and design different clothes with armor trims. This building, oh, this is empty too. I'm supposed to, <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with that one, but we have all this space to expand. The one next to it, that actually says bank uh, without RTX. These are supposed to look like caution signs, but on the inside, this is, well, an old bank. But I made it look like, as you can see, someone blasted a hole in it and made way with gold. We got like a gold trail, but they robbed the bank. That was the main purpose of this place, as you can see. We stored a lot of gold here and emeralds, but the place has been robbed, sadly. Across the street, we got this tall building. I lived, well, not lived, but this is where I stored a lot of stuff. It's not really complete either, but I stored all my shulker boxes in here for a while while I was building the city. Don't use that anymore. Um, next to it is the meat factory. I have a big meat sign up there, and I did use this for a while, but I killed a lot of the cows because I felt like my fans were running quite a bit when I was around the town, and I, I think these were the main cause, but as you can see, this is where I get a steak supply. So you kill the cows, I made it look like their carcass goes across here into a saw blade, I actually have a saw blade in there. And then it goes into the meat piles, you can squash them, comes through here, it cooks them, now they are all cooked. And then eventually goes into this pile of meat. Enderman stealing my blocks. Oh God, I hate Enderman <laughs> so much. They ruin everything. Up here is very dark. It's supposed to be an office area where I'll eventually put someone. Back here, I really like how this looks. Got a dumpster full of the carcasses. And I got graffiti all over it that says evil because maybe some people don't like it. Got a big silo here just holding something for one of the buildings. Got like a big skull graffiti piece here. I'm, I've been really getting into graffiti as you can tell. Got a, someone a fan of me. This is like a, just an old brick building, nothing inside. I actually meant to make it look like it is just broken down, not used. Someone spray painted my face up there. Over here, this is the Piglin gang in my world. We're gonna be building all kinds of Piglin hideouts throughout the city. Got a heart. And then around the front, we have a newer building right here. Um, this one's gonna be more, maybe just a tiny shop or something? Most likely. 
Like, I don't know. I just really want to get the city full of buildings and then I can start customizing the insides. We've got another, like, it, oh yeah, this is going to be one of the piglin hangouts. This is like an old apartment complex, but I'm going to make it look a bit trashy in here. Make it look like the piglins live in here. But yeah, we still have, like I say, all the time, lots of work to be done here. Got a big billboard there. This is our latest build right here. But uh, let's head over here. This is the concrete factory. This is a building that just has a big machine in it, which took a lot of redstone, as you can see. But this is a whole floor of pistons. Well, that looks cool. And here's some pistons here too. But basically you walk up, you place concrete powder of any kind on top of this torch. You can just hold right click on it and the water will turn it into concrete and push it over. When it hits this observer, it pushes over this way. And when it hits it, this observer, it pushes it up all into a giant cube. Now here we have a temporary cage for a sniffer. Uh, oh, you can actually see them. Usually turn invisible with texture packs. Here is the hog den. This is, well, everything here is new. I'm gonna stop saying it's new. This is my subway system. Well, an old subway system that's not really used anymore. I want the city to look like it has some past stuff in it, but this leads down to a subway system that's been taken over by gangs, mainly the Piglin Gang. That's why it's called the Hog Den. And as you can see, we have a bar down here. This was inspired by Fallout 4. Got like a gold pickaxe graffiti right there. Got a creeper head, VIP. This is a bathroom that Originally, I was gonna have like the main piglin boss in here. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, that says hogged in. It's a bit hard to read with those end rods there with RTX. But uh, yeah, I got a bar here with a robot serving stuff. Got a bunch of potion making stuff if you want to make potions. But as you can see, the old subway systems, this was turned into a stage where they can perform for the bar goers. And then a portal there for the piglins to come through and eventually on the other side of the portal in the nether, I'm going to continue this tunnel and make the piglin side of the bar. Uh-oh, it's raining. It usually adds effect, though, to the city. And here is where I'm currently stationed at to build this city, where I store all of my supplies, in case you're curious where all my stuff is. But yeah, as you can see, I built like a Mars rover here. Kind of like the Perseverance rover. I've just been inspired. Here is the whiteboards I've been making. So I went out to my ocean, placed a bunch of snow blocks. And that creates these white blank maps. And then you go over the snow blocks with red, blue, or black blocks and just make it look like writings on a whiteboard. And <laughs> this took a very long time to make, but the end result is so cool. Down the street here, we have my hospital, which took a very long time to make. And I'm so happy with the final result. Yep, you guessed it, it's not finished. <laughs> Mainly this first floor. I just got to make a receptionist area or something. But yeah, all the other floors are pretty much done. So we got this floor, which is mainly for my chemist, Angel Altamirano, to make health potions. And this is just basically where I want to make a mass supply of health potions when I need them. Um, love this giant bay window here shining in. Got another whiteboard here with its own unique writings on it. But yeah, it's also got its own. Okay, that's odd. Holy crap, that is more melon than I thought would be in here. Jesus, okay, this is a little bit too efficient. I should probably just cut it down to one. That's supposed to be pushed off by that piston, but yeah, that's where it gets some melon. Um, but up here on this floor, this is more of like a study floor. They're studying plants to maybe learn its properties. Maybe it has healing properties, but also an area to convert the melon to glistening melon if they wanted. In here is the major surgery room. We have Dr. Casey McClara in here. Well, they're the maiden surgeon. I come in here the most because I'm always causing issues with my body. As you can see, got some more map art. That is me with a broken arm there. <laughs> um, and then here's my own personal whiteboard. About me, I made it look like sticky notes on here. I'm just so into making map art stuff right now. This is where Casey sleeps. Up top here, this leads to a little area where we grow some nether wart. And that is pretty much all here. I still gotta make a top floor. If you saw, we have a giant building. This is the Slime Science Headquarters. This is a super huge detailed building, as you can tell. I put a lot of detail into the outside, but this place is not furnished because it's so huge. But as you can see here, I started to I'm making like a ceiling in here. This is supposed to be like a hangar bay that you can fly into. Uh, but I have so many plans for this place, but it's just a matter of actually 
starting, which is the hardest part, over here is our newest skyscraper. And this place, in my opinion, looks phenomenal. Especially the backside here. I made it look super dystopian and mechanical, but it's basically just an apartment building. And I actually finished all of this building, I think. Nope, there's a first floor I still need to mess with. But yeah, it's a very simplified design. We got every floor here. First floor is right here. Uh, oh yeah, I still gotta add lights in here too. But uh, yeah, eventually this will be someone's apartment. We got the second floor. Each floor has its own floor pattern too. And unique shelving designs. We've got the third floor. This one's pretty nice too, I guess. <laughs> Got the fourth floor with a bit of a black stone design. It's got a good view over the city. Got the fifth floor with a unique design on the floor as well. And then of course, the sixth floor, which is going to be my floor. I actually have two floors within the sixth level. Um, but yeah, eventually I will move most likely my shulker boxes and stuff up here because I wanna have a place I live in the city. I got a balcony, but I need to add balconies to the other floors too just to make the ease of access better but uh yeah this leads up to there's this little balcony section where i can put a bed and some storage i really like the way this place turned out if we jump off the balcony here and go around the back we have a relatively new build over here this is all going to be a city here this is going to be my future slums it's like a poor housing district area but back here on this hill we have Slime Science Space Agency. That's what S3A stands for. I just tried to be a little unique there. But uh, yeah, we have a very modern looking design here. And this is just where I think my future space program is going to be at. So we have like the display of an engine. This place is heavily under work right now. Why does it look so bright in there? But this is supposed to be like a environment of a different planet's surface that they could work in. This is going to be a future office over here. Then we got a long hallway. This is going to be the academics hallway. Well, it leads to an auditorium eventually, but we have different ways of transportation in Minecraft on display here. And then over here behind this glass wall, we have, you can flip this lever. This activates a beacon, which gives you jump boost to mimic low gravity. So you can kind of run this little gauntlet if you really wanted to. I still plan to add a lot more stuff here. I'm going to have like a diving area for swimming. And over here, I'm going to recreate the Martian surface. And I really look forward to that. I got some cool plans. If we head back over here near the hospital, we have a giant canal, which took forever to make. But this basically just connects to the ocean over here. We got a giant crane mechanism here. We're going to have to create a huge bay area with a big wall basically running across this ocean area because I want to make a ship here. Uh, when it, it's supposed to look like you drop off the crates here. They can be lifted up here if they wanted, but mainly sent down this canal and to my shipment yard. I have a really cool crane right here. Um, but yeah, this is the shipment yard. This was originally going to be the slums, but I changed it to shipment yard. That doesn't lead anywhere. It's just a tunnel to nowhere right now, but we created this massive wall to divide this industrial section from the living areas up there. But yeah, I love this place so much because as you can see, I've got like shipping containers everywhere and I got one over here, which is really unique. This place is where my iron golems live. So I want the city here to have all kinds of different races and species live in here. You got a little trading section where they can stop by and trade. But I like the idea of thinking that the iron golems just stacked these up themselves they even have some sniffers they harvest stuff from. They're like building their own robot here. Uh, this container back here in particular kind of looks like an alienish container because it is, because it has all of the new ancient flowers being grown on the inside. I made it look like these are outlawed from the city, but they're doing it out here in secret. But yeah, even got a whole copper container there. That was expensive. But uh, yeah, all these guys have their own names. They're all called T1Is. This is Jason Baird. He's a donator. This one up here is a little library one. I'm going to make this place useful. This is T1I Connor Keslin. And then down here, we also have a security one. This is where T1I Brendan Ten Half stays. And he basically is like, these guys are becoming more smart and you can come here to get upgrades. You plug into this and Brendan obviously 
Maybe just up, upgrade your software or something for <laughs> the golems. They're becoming smarter. Well, my friends, that was pretty much... Oh, I didn't cover this. I mean, but there's nothing really to cover. But I have this giant building here with a cool billboard on it. It is completely hollow. Uh, maybe eventually we'll put a farm on the inside. This place looks pretty cool at night, if you ask me. Uh, this place is going to have so many more skyscrapers. Even taller than that. Like, way taller than that. I just want this place to look scary. Very dystopian, cyberpunkish. So much work to do, that's why I'm always here. But I mean, look how much we got done in two months. We got a lot done. But yeah, this is where we plan to work in the future as well, so... Uh, if you're new here, subscribe to see the future progress on this. But uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it here. This has been the craziest, most productive, and most rewarding season so far. Thanks to all of my donators supporting this channel. I can't thank you enough for you still sticking around and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. But I gotta get back to work. We got some building to do. It's been a little, a week since we've actually built here. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.